Hello and welcome to NTC Reviews. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the Helium Network. What's very cool about this Helium Network is not only do I see the technology that it's deploying being something viable and has a lot of potential, but you can also mine your own cryptocurrency right from your home or office or pretty much anywhere where you can deploy one of these little hotspots. And all it requires is an internet connection and a little bit of electricity. And you too could be mining your own crypto. You want to know more about this Helium network referred to as the People's Network? Stay tuned. Now this is the wallet which is contained in the app and this is where your uh, HNT rewards are stored. They are currently worth about $4.60 uh, today each. And in two weeks that I've been up and running, I have earned 22.6 HNT rewards. Uh, once again, I'm not breaking any records here, uh, but the fact that I really don't even know what I'm doing yet, uh, I find that relatively impressive and, uh, and also exciting. When I first became aware of the Helium Network and got my first hotspot, hooked it up, started seeing the potential, I got excited. And of course, I wanted to share the information with my friends and with my family. And I found myself basically getting on the phone or email and kind of repeating the same things over and over and also getting the same questions from my friends. And I decided, you know what, why don't you do what you do and make some videos explaining this information so that your friends can get it. And hopefully you'll follow along also and I'll be able to convey this information and help dissect some of this information and hopefully entice you to join the People's Network. For me, I figured the best way to convey this information is to kind of take you along on the ride that I've been on and the information that I'm getting. Now, keep in mind that I'm a layperson when it comes to this, so it could be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on how you look at it. But if you get anything out of this, you'll know that, hey, if I can do it and I'm, and I'm earning some of these cryptocurrency rewards, well, so can you. And if you are more on the technical end and want to find out more specifications, I will place them in my blog post. So be sure to check that out. I will place the link in the comment field below. So the first thing that I needed in order to get started with the Helium Network was to get myself a hotspot. Luckily, I was able to get in touch with Helium and they sent me one of their original hotspots. I don't think that these hotspots are available anymore or they're going to be reproduced again. But for all intents and purposes, most of these hotspots work the same exact way. I received the shipping confirmation for my hotspot, knew that it was going to be at my home within a couple of days. So I began, of course, searching around the internet, watching videos, uh, paying close attention to different information on the Helium site, and I got completely overwhelmed. And I realized, you know what, why don't you wait, let that hotspot come in, get it configured, and then learn through the process. And that's what I decided to do. My Helium hotspot finally arrived. I went ahead, opened up the box, saw all the components that were inside, pretty simple, power cord, the actual hotspot, and an antenna. There was a code on the actual box that I was able to scan, bringing me to the app so that I could go ahead and download the Helium app. From there, very simple, was able to follow the directions in order to pair the hotspot to the app and get it all configured. Uh, certain things, like of course keeping it near a window, uh, the best line of sight that you could possibly get, try not to have things blocking anything or as far as your view when uh, you are placing your hotspot. And of course having the antenna also aimed out, trying to get the best reception that you possibly can. Things like screens or mosquito netting, anything like that is a no-go when it comes to the antenna. But all of that is right in the app as you're cycling through and configuring it, which is a pretty simple process. So I went ahead and onboarded or connected and set up my hotspot to the app, was able to pick the location. I was assigned the name for my hotspot. And of course, they're all kind of uh, weird or uh, funny, amusing type names, but they are randomly picked and assigned to each hotspot. The one thing to really pay close attention to is that there are 12 basically passwords or keywords that you need that are your key to be able to get into the Helium program, as well as your wallet where your future coins will be stored. So be sure to each, each hotspot comes with a little card 
or a little manual that has a spot where you could write in those 12 words. So whatever you do, whatever your process is, just make sure that you have those words written down because if you don't, you will never be able to recover your account without those 12 words. Yeah, I said it over and over, it's important. So once the configuration was all done and my hotspot was paired with the app and ready to go, now it was just a waiting game. And from Helium, as far as their specs, they said anywhere between 24 and 72 hours for the hotspot to actually download all the information that it needed to download from the blockchain and be able to start doing its thing. So I waited. It was now about 24 hours later and my hotspot was fully synced with the Helium network. I checked the activity log in the app and noticed that I already had made 0.05 rewards in HNT currency. So of course I thought that was pretty cool. I'm like, wow, I'm already making money. I didn't really even do anything yet. Both on the actual Helium website where you could check out the network coverage and get to the different profiles of all the hotspots, including your own. And of course, via the app that uh, you have loaded on your device, you're able to basically have a progress indicator. And I noticed right from the beginning, I had the first one lit up that said I was online. And then the next one was kind of in progress and blacked out as well as all the other ones. But the next one that was in line was being fully synced with the blockchain. And now I had that one covered. And then I noticed that the third one was covered was creating a challenge, which was how I was able to earn this 0.05 reward and as i delved further into this and saying okay well how do i do more of that basically everything occurs automatically one of the ways that you're able to earn helium rewards is by creating and participating in these challenges and the cool thing about that even for if you're getting no reception or you don't have another spot a hot spot near you you can still earn these rewards just by having your hot spot online and hooked up to the internet because it is challenging and communicating with other hotspots that are pretty much all over the world and you get your share in rewards whenever these challenges are done and completed so i thought that process was pretty cool and i had just learned one of the ways to be able to make hnt rewards through the helium network as the next day went by i kept looking and of course refreshing and checking the app and looking for more rewards and every once in a while, every few hours or so, I'd end up once again participating in a challenge, getting that 0 .05, 0 .04, 0 .06 HNT rewards. But of course, I'm checking other people's stats and I see them making a heck of a lot more. So I started researching, okay, what are these other ways that we're able to make uh, rewards? utilizing the Helium network. One thing that was becoming more apparent is that I needed more hotspots or at least some hotspots in my area so that they could communicate with each other, allowing me to earn more of these rewards. As I went back to that progress indicator, I noticed that there were two options on there for witnessing. One was basically to be witnessed and another one was to actually be a witness for somebody else. So I started delving more into this because I noticed when people were witnessing these challenges, they were earning a heck of a lot more rewards than I was at the time. So I started researching more about the whole witness aspect within the Helium network. My hotspot needs to kind of see the other hotspot that it wants to talk to with the least amount of interference or blockage in between those two hotspots. So when I thought about it, each antenna on the hotspot transmit let's say with that perfect line of sight probably anywhere between a mile or two miles and once again we're talking about perfect line of sight so i realized that if i didn't have these other hotspots there to be able to send the signal via the antenna i was never going to be able to witness any of these challenges and or be witnessed by any of these other hotspots which of course would we deter from me earning the good HNT rewards. Since I didn't have another hotspot at the time available to me, and there were no other ones in my area, there was actually one, but for some reason it wasn't synced to the network, so it really wasn't helping my cause at all. The only other choice that I had was to get a better antenna and an external antenna. And being a licensed ham radio operator, I definitely understand the importance of having a good antenna to both transmit and to receive signals. I began researching, looking for various antenna options, 
what would be the best for my area, for my scenario, for the location that I was going to mount this antenna. And once again, once I felt comfortable answering all of those questions, I chose the antenna that I thought was right for my location. I went ahead and placed the order for the antenna, as well as the mount, wires, cables, grounding equipment, and pretty much everything else that I thought I would need to get this antenna hooked up correctly and performing the way that I wanted it to perform. If you want more specifics on this exact antenna setup and the components that I used for it, I made a separate video for that. I will place the link up in the top right, so be sure to check it out. So after setting up my external antenna, it was time to kind of sit back and wait and see if I did get any kind of a performance increase. It was about four hours later after installing my external antenna and I logged into the app to check things out, looked at the activity and bang, I had actually witnessed an event. And the crazy part about it is that that challenge was 27 kilometers away according to the Helium network coverage map. So I definitely think I made the right decision in purchasing and installing this external antenna. And that was the second way that I learned how to earn HNT rewards on the Helium network. Another day or two went by and I was paying close attention. I kept witnessing these challenges uh, every so often and earning that 0.17 to 0.25 HNT rewards. As I mentioned earlier, I was really the only hotspot in my area. So it was difficult now for me to try to get to that third way to earn HNT rewards, which is actually to get witnessed during a challenge. Let's talk more about the witness aspect on the Helium network. The Helium network is decentralized, so it's not all placed on one set of servers. It's decentralized and it allows us, by having this hotspot, to operate a piece of that network. Well, since it is decentralized, the blockchain needs to know and have confirmations of where these actual hotspots are located. That confirmation is actually known as witnessing. So we had spoken about how I was able to witness a challenge that was many kilometers away. When that other hotspot that was miles away issued that challenge, my hotspot was able to raise its hand, so to speak, and say, hey, I saw it, I was right here, I picked up that radio signal, that hotspot I am witnessing or confirming that it is at where it says that it is. So the more witnesses that this hotspot gets by broadcasting its signal and issuing that challenge, the more HNT rewards that are gonna be earned by that hotspot. The Helium Network basically rewards this hotspot because of its authenticity or the fact that it has been confirmed or witnessed by various hotspots across the network. By adding the external antenna, my hotspot was able to become a witness for another hotspot, but I still had the issue that I wasn't able to earn any HNT rewards by being witnessed by other hotspots in my proximity. So I knew that that was the next task at hand and the next little green bar on my progress bar. So in order for my hotspot to be witnessed by other hotspots, one of two things needed to happen. Either my neighbors had to start adding hotspots so that they could go ahead and witness my hotspot, or I had to add my own hotspots to the network in strategic places, hoping that they could communicate with each other so that now I can actually get witnessed and earn more of those HNT rewards. For me, the only real feasible option that I had was to keep trying to expand my Helium network by adding more hotspot miners to the network, hopefully in close enough proximity where they'll be able to communicate with each other. I wanted to add another hotspot miner to my network but I knew that the Helium hotspots were no longer available. But luckily there are a few other companies that are now producing the hotspot miners for the Helium network. And the one that I went with for my second hotspot miner was from a company called CalChip, and it is a Rack Miner version two, which had been on back order for a while. Now that my second hotspot miner was on the way, it was time to figure out a location for it, 
where was I going to put it? The one thing about the Helium network is that each hotspot to operate optimally is recommended to be between 250 and 300 meters apart. If they're any closer than that, they'll end up competing with each other uh, for challenges, and that really just diminishes the rewards and uh, really doesn't help out the Helium network as far as expanding its coverage. I needed to find a location that was further than 300 meters from my current hotspot, but yet close enough and have good enough line of sight where my existing hotspot would now be able to communicate with the new or the second hotspot that I was adding to my network. I have a good buddy who lives about a mile away from where my current hotspot location is. I explained to him a little bit about the Helium network, asked for permission to install my uh, rack miner, and he told me to go for it. So once that rack miner came in the mail, I headed over to my buddy's house, followed a very similar process to what I did initially with the Helium hotspot, and got my second hotspot online and syncing. If you want more detailed information on the second hotspot that I picked up from CalChip, as far as the Rack Miner version 2, definitely take a look at the separate video that I made on that installation and specific performance with the Rack Miner, and you could find that now up in the top right. Just click on the link. The Rack Miner that I got from CalChip seemed to take uh, much less time as far as syncing to the blockchain than the uh, Helium hotspot did, or my initial one. That could be because I was already on the network. I'm not really sure, but either way, it was definitely a fact. I woke up the next morning, checked the activity on the Helium app, and cha-ching, I had a bunch more. And the big factor here was because the second hotspot that I added the previous day was able to now witness the challenges from my previous spot. And in return, my initial hotspot was able to witness the challenges that the second hotspot was broadcasting. So what this really means to me, much more HNT rewards being mined. Now that I had witnessed a challenge from both of my hotspots, I had learned the third way to make HNT rewards from the Helium network. I had completed another step on the progress bar, but I also noticed that there was still one step to go, and that step was transmitting data or sending data packets. As I mentioned in the beginning, there were a couple things that excited me about the Helium network. Of course, one of the primary, or the primary one being the ability to earn the HNT rewards or being able to mine that cryptocurrency. But the other very cool thing about it was the technology that the Helium network is actually deploying. This Helium network is basically the world's first peer-to-peer -peer wireless network that provides a secure and cost-effective way for low-power Internet of Things devices to send data to and from the Internet. So we're talking about a long-range, low-power network that is global, that is controlled by the people or once again by us and our hotspots that we are putting online so that this Helium network can be deployed from environmental devices to bicycle trackers, to pet trackers, to air quality trackers, and new technologies being implemented and developed every day that are running on the Helium network. And this coverage is being supplied by us, by our hotspots by our antennas transmitting this information and sending and receiving these packets so that these devices can be deployed across the globe. So as an example, let's say we're using a GPS tracker that's in a fleet of vehicles, but we're just speaking about one specific vehicle. And now let's say that this vehicle is on the Helium network and now they end up passing by my hotspot or within range of my hotspot and it ends up transmitting or receiving data from my hotspot. Well, the cool thing about that is the owner of those devices and tracking devices, be it a company or an individual, has to pay for that data that they are uh, sending and receiving. And every time that your hotspot sends out those data packets and transfers that data, it also receives HNT rewards for providing that service. 
And that is the fourth way that you're able to earn HNT rewards on the Helium network. So far, I haven't transmitted any data on either of my hotspots, but we'll see what the future holds. My plan of attack is to continue adding hotspots, hopefully within my network to expand that, and of course other locations where I could either plug in to an existing network and try to be able to uh, mine some HNT rewards from there, or build a similar network to what I'm trying to do in my current location. There is also a fifth way to earn HNT rewards, and that is with a consensus election. And that one is completely random, so I don't have any control in trying to enhance my potential of being elected. I do look at this as an investment, both in time and, of course, financially. And the one thing about cryptocurrency is that it isn't certain. It fluctuates. At the time that I am making this video, each Helium reward is worth about $4.50. But... It has also been down in the pennies, and it has also been above $5. So keep that in mind when it comes to risk reward. I will continue adding new videos and tutorials as I continue to learn and evolve uh, within the Helium network. So if you're interested in following along, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification symbol. So bottom line. If you want to get involved in a very interesting project that not only offers a very cool technology that I think has a great potential, but also a great way to earn some side money mining this cryptocurrency, definitely take a look at the Helium Network. And if you can, get your hands on a hotspot miner.